Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episodes 3 and 4 of Some Folk Here Access. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 3, and 3, 2, 1, go. But see, you know that, but then... <laughs> I honestly thought they would have ran and left, but no. Thank God it ain't gonna be like that because, mm, please, guys, with episode three and four, please just give me more backstory <laughs> to Chris because still, I have a lot of questions that I want to know so much. And because she's just, her life and her backstory just seems hella complicated to me. And you just, ah. Oh. I still to this day feel sorry for her. Come here. Where are you? I thought you were on the bed. I didn't know you hopped down. It's okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> child. <laughs> Just imagine being a, th a phantom thief and going to school. That's hell. Everybody knows Fina. I wouldn't be surprised if the last villain of this last series also knows Fina. I know, right? Still so many unanswered questions. Like, what the fuck?
in the suitcase. This clockwork planet. Uh. Is Adam dead? Well, those two were dead. The one time I wish we were out of parachute. Are they can't y'all can pop up a boat for her or something?
And because of the fact that Maria can't transform, she's fucking screwed. <laughs> no, I, I think the car though, a little bit more. Oh, the fact that she's out of the crystallization and it's like that? Yes. Um, but you see, y'all don't know that. Of course. Chris, you got something you want to share with the class? Can we go out of picture of her coming? <laughs> Thanks, so gay. Like, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody here? <laughs> yeah, but you need to talk it out, woman. Like, oh my god, you can't keep everything bottled inside. You and Baka go hard headed as fuck. Like, oh my god, I love you to death. But still, I gotta hurry because the rain's coming. That means I'm gonna have to take a really quick shower.
I thought you were bring Tiki with her. Uh-huh. Mm. But then the question is, how in the world are they going to get back home? Always a Jeez. <laughs> oh, my God, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, God. Please don't do that again. That's why she's so hard headed. It just looks like a giant thing. What the hell? Oh, my God.
So you're telling me it's been a couple of hours they've been inside there and that doesn't work? Finally, TT shows up at her. She hard headed too. You know she was gonna come anyway. Tiki scares me. That's all. Other than getting scared by thunder. Even though I love the sound of thunder. You know how when you're really into something and you try to drown out everything and then always one thing, usually it's fun maybe two or whatever, just comes out of nowhere. Yes, I wasn't expecting that thunder to come out. Like, oh my God. But I still need Chris at the end of the day to talk it out. A very hard-headed and stubborn girl as much as I love her to death. I need her to talk it out. But, I mean, I get the fact is that, yeah, she wants to do it alone. She's, uh, at the end of the day, no matter what, even after the situation that she's had with her parents up until now, she's always truly really been on, on her own. She's had a couple of people, you know, be there for her. But still, at the end of the day, she's always been on her own. So to have a group of friends, especially girlfriends, to be there for her, to talk to her when something is upsetting her, she still kind of feels some type of way. She doesn't really know how to truly um, express herself to others. And that's why she's very timid and not quiet, but very to herself and, how, and a cinder. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm just hoping that I really thought that, you know, going back to episode one, or really not even episode one, season mother effing one, and getting into, like, the freaking episode where it's like, here, she gets her best girl card or award or whatever, and I thought she, okay, seeing her like that, I was like, oh my god, she's moving past this, she's becoming a brand new person, and then to get into, like, the first three episodes of this season, and in a way, it just feels like she's going back to the way she once was, except she ain't evil or anything, but she's just still very to herself, and she still feels a certain type of way, and the fact that she can't really say, hey, this is how I feel right now, I really want to know what your opinions on this, what do I need to do, and such, but everybody's worried about her and she just won't sit down and make the fucking time to just sit and talk to her girlfriends about that shit because I mean come on those are your girlfriends but I, at the end of the day I still get it too because there are a lot of us in the world who really just rather be in our own thoughts instead of sitting and talking to someone and getting someone else's opinion on it it just depends on what the situation is for you it could be good it could be bad um it could be life-changing no, no matter what it is so but yeah, I mean, she's still devastated over the Stefan thing, especially like imagining like it's pfft, a live or die or a doggy world, doggy dog situation out there with all the noise and stuff. And it's either someone else's lives or saving them and you regretting certain things. And that's what she's currently in this predicament at this time with Tiki and St. Germain and her group like I have no fucking clue what the hell is going on especially with the last few minutes of what the fuck Tiki was talking about why the fuck does she want to fuck with god I have so many unanswered questions and such I, I don't know I'm like I'm stumped I mean I got one more episode to watch tonight before I am done but I, I don't know right now I'm like oof what the hell but Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode three. I mean, blah, blah, four. My bad, four. <laughs> okay, episode four and three, two, 
one, go. Is it Saint Germain? Please tell me her mom didn't die. Okay, now it makes sense why she wants revenge. I get that. I mean, it's not only like the female situation, but her mom. I mean, ooh. Yeah, because I do the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Her um father, piece of shit. Hands down. I mean... Oh god, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. And I think I said this last season. Is this show really gonna make me hate the father figures of this show? Like, I don't even, we haven't really, well, no, we've met the grandfather, father of Subaso, but is it, well, no, and, and he became sad the way they ended it. He's not that bad anymore, and I still like him, kind of, but I feel like. If there's somebody, if there's another father figure in this show besides Saint Germain, um, who is worse than Subasa's and Hibiki, I mean, Miku, what about your dad or even anybody? I bet you Chris's dad was nice. We can't have one dad who's nice. Something <laughs> I don't know. Figure something else would also come back to Carol as well. <laughs> I think I can only show Adam in this episode. I mean, like, Jesus.
That's a scarecrow. Poor baby. You want them to eat her raw? I have a feeling someone's gonna be like, You don't like raw potatoes? No. It's better when they're cooked. Can't see. Hard headache, Chris. I love you so much, but still, you cannot, cannot do this by yourself. It's gonna take forever for you to begin to possibly to come on my topic. Nope, couldn't see. See? Oh my god, honey.
Can I just say she has really nice shoes and I want them? Just look at them bad boys, like, oh my god, I want some new shoes. But then you can't go anywhere. Because you're stuck. In a house, because it's fucking quarantine. But yeah, you can worm around the house. Yeah, you didn't have a tomato. <laughs> yeah, she ain't taking no funny answers, just take it. Mother. Mm. No, actually, I lied. The only time I eat actually raw tomatoes is when I have a sandwich. A really good sandwich, never on hamburgers. It just depends on what hamburger it is. But still.
I don't think that was a smart idea. It feels so awesome. That's true. That makes three. I think in a way, St. Germain does not like your way of working, so it's just like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it on my own. What the hell is that like? Adam? Adam. Adam. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Sir, what the? They're not gonna make it. They're gonna, they're gonna end on a cliffhanger. They're gonna end on a cliffhanger. I know it. I just feel it. Oh my god. They're gonna end on a cliffhanger. See, she turned the flip. I. What the mean? Oh my god.
the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? It wasn't a bad cliffhanger. I've seen better. Stein's Gate in a nutshell has so many more colors. This episode. Now Maria turns blue. Hello, I mean, what? Seriously, that means something, and we're just we're not gonna talk about what that means. Like, I, I hello. That means something. Like, come on now. This is now spice. Whatever it is, it's like it has to be something that's gonna be able to defeat um Saint Germain's group because I really thought Ignite would have been able to work for them, but the fact is that Saint Germain's group with their shit just was like bam and then nope and I'm just like I, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. That's why I wasn't really surprised as much with like, oh, like just the moment when like Saint Germain had her gun and it, it just went past Hibiki and I'm like, oh, okay, like nothing's gonna happen to Hibiki. <laughs> you thought wrong. Also, Adam, what the fuck? I, 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 I don't even know what to say about Adam. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm thinking, like, for a moment, I, like, thought, I was like, if Adam has a fucking gear, we're finally gonna get the one of the things that I have been wanting for, like, a long time. Can a man have a gear? But no. It's not gonna be, like, Magical Girl Rising Project where a guy can turn into a magical girl. <laughs> but seriously, what the fuck was that ending? What was that ending? And... You cannot tell me that episodes 5 and 6, six specifically 5, is going to continue right from that. Like, at least, you know, them waking up somewhere and wondering where the heck they are. I mean, they're going to be in space again. How, how the heck are they going to get home? Maria going to be thinking about, well, what was that blue stuff like surrounding me? There's so many unanswered questions and still, I have nothing. Nothing. Like, oh my god. Just... Bruh. <laughs> like, oh my god. No, like, this is some BS. Like, oh, I can't. I can't. I cannot. Like, what was this? What was that ending? Like, honestly. That's worse than, like, season two and then Chris, like, I think it was, like, what, the last few, no, it was the, it was the last episode before I had to watch the, the, the three episodes together and how Chris, like, came out of nowhere, shot Tsubasa, and I'm over here like, what the frick just happened? Like, mm -hmm. I mean, oh my god, just, I can't. <laughs> just can't but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode three and four of simple gear access if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the national squad and of course i will see you guys officially on next friday for patreons and next thursday for everybody else for episodes five and six bye guys